Hello, my name is David Ravo, and I want to introduce you to the 2023 Ford Bronco two-door with the Sasquatch package. I'm sure you've heard from many a video about the Sasquatch package, so let me give it to you quickly here. 35-inch tires, 17-inch wheels. Bilstein with a special damper made just for the Ford Bronco. The fender flares and locking front and rear differentials. The only option that is not part of the Ford factory delivery are these rock sliders right here, which are a dealer installed option that integrate well are connected to the frame and are incredibly durable and strong and will hold up the vehicle on a boulder if it had to. Let me tell you this, I have just driven this vehicle 1000 miles over the last two and a half days, mostly highway, a little bit of off-roading, enough to require four-wheel drive, but not the locking differentials, either the front or the back. And what's one of the questions you'll get? Should I get a two-door? Well, if you want something reminiscent of the 70s, you'll definitely want a two-door. That's all they made. That's what the Ford Bronco is originally intended to be. A durable, nimble, little V8-powered vehicle to take on the jeep and it did what's the penalty on highway for a thousand miles i would say it's in the neighborhood of 10 percent to a four-door if that this drives amazing the key points of this vehicle to me are the transmission and the steering you get in this lifted 35 inch bronco you drive it on the freeway and I could resoundingly give you a yes, it stays on center. It doesn't drift or wander. The transmission shifts into third within the first five seconds. If you were in the smaller motor manual transmission, you would probably just be shifting into second gear. You know, I love manual transmissions, but at this point you gotta give it up. All the technology has been poured into this transmission. It shifts so quickly off the line and gets you into a happy, pleasant RPM where the motor's not working, even though it's got plenty of torque from the uh, twin turbos here. It is a lovely vehicle to drive. I've enjoyed every minute of it. I could tell you that it's quiet, and I could tell you that it's really comfortable on the road and a thousand miles is no problem. I would definitely get the Sasquatch package. I would definitely get a two door. And I would, um, well, would I consider the red? This is rapid red by Ford. I think it's beautiful. I don't see that many in a thousand miles. I have never seen a red Ford Bronco. And let's just say the Two weeks leading up to this, I've never seen a bright red Bronco, let alone a two-door Bronco. These Goodyear All-Terrain Territory MTs, I guess they called an MT, it looks like an AT. It is the mildest MT I've ever seen. It is incredibly quiet on the highway. I guess they had to determine if they want to call this an MT. I have a Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac, which is also considered like a hybrid tire. I don't even know if it's considered an MT. That is more aggressive than this, more capable than this, but not as incredible as this is on the highway. This is absolutely quieter than the BF Goodrich All-Terrain, the most venerable tire of them all. This is actually quieter and they consider this to be an MT consider it up against the AT of the BF Goodrich. So really impressive work they did on that tire. You know, as it relates to off-road, this feels like you're on an all season kind of tire. That's how quiet it is, but yet it's considered an MT. Crazy. So what would I do? This vehicle was in the neighborhood of about $48,960 MSRP. With tax and everything, it was 53,000. 
unless you're buying it in Montana and then there's no tax, it'd be $48,600, which I think is pretty impressive for a vehicle like this. The only reservations I had really was how was it gonna drive? Is it gonna bounce? And no, it doesn't bounce. You got a nice size screen. You got dual climate controls, no leather. This is not a 58 or $60,000 Bronco, but it does have the hard roof that comes off in sections real easy. Your famous lock and differentials. Fantastic front and rear to have something like that. Oh, well, I can't even open the back door. So there you go. Two seats, enough for children or adults. And back here, enough for, well, let's say if you organized it and packed correctly, you can get everything back here for four people. You can put a kid in the middle, five people, and you'd still be able to get your stuff back here. Nice speaker positions, beautiful, very reminiscent of what Jeep has done for years. Really a phenomenal sport utility. I definitely recommend this vehicle to anybody that's looking for a comfortable vehicle that rides as smooth, wait for it, as smooth as a Subaru SUV, as any of the Escape Ford SUVs, this thing rides the same. It's unbelievable. This is not a sport Bronco, but it certainly rides as simple and as nice as that does on the highway with a boatload more power. I've really enjoyed this experience, and this is something I'd wish to own. Thank you for watching.